who's, you know, in Europe or something, and it's, it's a little juddery, you know. It runs smooth, but it's harder to react to the stuff they do because mm. you miss a couple well, of startup yeah. frames, right? And in person, you have the advantage of seeing what they're doing a little earlier, but they have the advantage of seeing what you're doing earlier as well. Um, I know a lot of players talk a lot of mess, and they say, you beat me because it was online, see me in person. Yeah, and, that's uh, I'll be able to see the startup of your moves, and I'll yeah, beat you. It's like, yeah. but that guy will also be able to see the startup right, of your yeah. moves now. <laughs> like, yeah. you don't understand. It's a yeah. two-way street. <laughs> You're not the only one experiencing rollbacks. Uh, Shout-outs to complainers. Well, we got another one coming up now. Yes, we Finch got Finch versus Agnes. Spartan Izzy48. Yeah, I'm not familiar with Spartan, so let's see what he's got. Ripter is generally considered a favorable matchup against Agonos, um, but Finch is hardcore Agonos uh -huh. enthusiast. So he's, he's going to learn the matchups and make them work to the best of his ability. Yeah, there's a lot of mobility on Ripper's side. Good pressure options. It, it's really the amazing range on like the standing fierce kick and the crouch fierce kick that ignore armor. Sure. And it's also the jumping heavy punch, uh, which uh, is sure. extremely yeah, hard sense. for everyone to anti-air. But the three hits of that is a nightmare for Agonos armor. Mm -hmm. It's just so easy to strip armor away from Agonos and make him play honest. And that's the last thing Agonos players want to do. Um, he has great footsies game when he's you know chunkless. He really does, but it's hard against Ripter because Ripter can move so quickly. Right, yeah, just get either way far away or way in all of a sudden. Wow! Oh, uh -oh. <laughs> so close well, to a full conversion. Yeah, that would have been sick. Takes the life bar off. And then just very patient in between rounds yeah. comes in. That run forward hard punch is so hard right. to deal with. Oh, huge! Some I'll be interested damage. to see. Wow, yeah, 59. That was a ton. Okay, he's going to chunk up a little bit. Yeah, he gets through in time. Ripter can hit pretty hard if she needs to, if she gets a lockout. Well, I mean, so far, it's really just been Spartan Izzy getting in there. Yeah, it's going to end it. Yeah. That was a, a dominant game. Absolutely. Controlled it in pressure, in movement. He was away for just a little bit, and whenever that came up, he was right back in Finch's face immediately. Well, version 2 of the community tier list came out recently. We should open that as well. Um, because we might be able to see what people kind of think about these matchups uh, in general. That tier list was that, that matchup chart was built by kind of a group of you know 60-ish uh, players who mm -hmm. are really good at this game, um, and the number of players contributing to it is growing all the time, which is awesome. Uh, but in my opinion, Ripter wins this matchup, and it's a tough one. It'll be interesting to see if Finch is willing to switch characters or not. He does have a little coaching pocket here. Okay, looks like sleep. Maybe Thunder. I didn't know he had a Thunder, but I do like this pick. I, I've always struggled when playing Ripter against Thunder. Okay. And it's the wideness. Ripter's like one of the widest characters in the game, which he's not tall enough to prevent you from jumping over. Mm -hmm. So characters with gross cross-ups, like Thunder's Jump Heavy Punch, right. it's, it's a nightmare. And Ripter's anti-air game, not the best. Really not the best. Well, let's see if this is it. You were talking about how there might be people show up you don't know them. Yeah, yeah they're, and, they're and they're amazing. strong, and mm -hmm. you know this might be an example of that. Absolutely, cool. So we got our new chart. Check this out in a few minutes yeah. after the match. Some patience there, and then I, I love the mobility of being able to go backwards. The blocks. That was punishable. That that triple overhead from Ripter. So missed opportunity from Finch. Ooh. Yeah, if I'm Finch, I want to abuse jumping hard punch in this match. It's just, it, not predictably, but it is tough for Ripper to deal with. Oh, wow, the mini uh, flame. Oh! The knockdown was there beforehand. Look at that patience out of Finch. Every time Ripper bounces off, he should be doing Samamish and, and uppercutting that because it's projectile invincible. It doesn't matter if she spits fire. Right. Oh, oh. Okay, yep, of course. Yeah, you got got. Good okay, tech, the tech Very there. important. Now into what? Nothing. Just running away. Yep. Okay. Okay, yeah, that's there. Good call of her. No more meter left to work with for Finch, but he still has his instincts. Oh, oh no. the whiff! Oh, a little too late on that. Punished on the other side, man. Yeah. Excellent stuff. Oh, a little bit too ahead of himself. All right, he's not out yet. Ripter's instinct is, you know, kind of regarded as one of the weaker ones in the game. Not huge comeback potential there. Mm. Big moment right here. Lots of damage. What's the situation? Very, very, very good. Crouch Fierce. Ripter's weird little anti air, her run back hard kick, uh -huh. is actually quite Ooh, punishable. That was so good. Looking for was Shadow really Counter. Really good. 
instant cancel right through. Straight back to the overhead, too. Finch is on the ropes. Trying to move forward. Soki has to be tight. Yeah, this has got to be good. It's nothing. No! Running away. You got to safe jump it. That's going to be all. That'll be it. Yeah. Yep. When you knock Man. up her down there, you have to safe jump her. You just, uh, after a call of Earth, it's pretty easy. You can wait like a tiny moment and then jump forward and hard punch. Yeah. Or uh, empty, empty jump low or empty jump grab. Um, very, very hard for Ripper to deal with. Her he anti-air had, options just don't help. He had a couple of media opportunities. Finch did. Yeah. And just didn't get much out of it. Yeah. You know, it, inexperience with Thunder showed. I think okay. there were a couple good punishes in there, and then it was just a lot of. I kind of know how to play this character, but I don't totally know all the matchups. Mm. And and there's a lot of matchup nuance. I think if he was a Thunder main, would have come within like a week probably. Well, too bad for Finch. That means that he's eliminated from this round. Yep.